cold today. Yo, they say today is the coldest day in South Africa this season, and I believe them because yo, yeah, I know it's hectic, it's hectic. But anyway, I hope everybody is keeping warm. We're supposed to be indoors anyway because of the lockdown. So, yeah, man, um, it's another edition of Ace the Chat with the Journalist. And today, my guest is the crook. He's a DJ, a producer, a businessman. And, you know, he's just like a very dope creative. He started his career as i think he started at y as an intern i'm not sure but yeah you know um he started as a producer at y yfm then he went on to have his own show at yfm and you know ever since then he entered the x competition he won got an opportunity to go overseas to do amazing stuff he has since released music and he's been doing, you know, a lot of cool stuff. So I'm looking forward to chatting to my man, the crook. And he's just on time. He's just on time. Yo, the crook, let me add you, bro. Hi. You know? So let's get the show on the road. Uh, and chat about what the crook has been up to. Yo, the crook. Yo. You're good. I'm good, my dog. I literally rushed in the house for you. <laughs> Where were you, Chief? It's locked down now. No, man, I, I was trying to get something to eat. But say, my fella, now, yeah, people that serve food, my man, after eight, ah, you can't get anything. Mm -hmm. I was going to ask you why, why aren't you cooking, but I remember it's a Friday, you know, we don't cook on Friday. Yeah, no, 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 no. I don't cook on Fridays. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, man. Um, thank you so much for your time, bro. You know, I just thought we should just catch up because um, the last time I spoke to you, I think it was it's like almost a year now. Yeah. And you've been busy since then. You've, you've been doing a couple of things, uh, you know, so I just thought let's catch up. First and foremost, um, how are you, the crook? I'm good, man. Like, I'm in a good space. Um <laughs> I think I made peace with a lot of things, you know, the fact that we're not gigging, we're not traveling, especially like us, you know, mm. um, like um, it's, 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 I mean, after the X thing, um, I get more of my work um, that makes me a bit of money overseas, you know, than locally. So, um, yeah, so that's not happening, but um, yeah, man, like just creating, collaborating, and uh, we're just trying to figure it out, you know, in good space. But um, I'm really, really, really in a good space. I don't want to lie. Yeah, you know, and it's, it's, it's a good thing that you are staying positive. Because I remember one of the things that we spoke about last year, uh, it was like, I think, the first or second month of lockdown, and you were complaining that you had plans to go overseas. But you did kind of like, you know, do it in a way because you, you got an international gig to host an Amma Piano show, you know, when, with an international show. <laughs> yeah, so, man, I think yeah. that was cool, man. That was cool. So, yeah, that was cool. How's that been going for you? Um, yo, it's been from strength to strength, man. I mean, um, if you look at what Amma Piano was when I started hosting Amma International in the UK and what it is now, you know, um, I've, 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 I've basically played my part um in that region, you know, um, I think um, similar to the story that we did via the Players Club, you know, like um, the genre was relatively small, you know, and um, and I hate saying that, um, like uh, because of YFM, Amapiano took it a dope turn because Amapiano was going to be good anyway, you know. Um, I just put my my neck on the block to to say, like, this is what I'm about and this is what I love, you know, because I genuinely love it. So um, I did the same with the UK, you know. I think um, it's very easy to, to sit back and, like, blow your own horn comfortable in a regional or in a space, you know. Uh, but um, 
I think some of the people that I look up to um, generally do something, and then once that thing is popping, they challenge themselves to do it in another region, in another place, in another area. You know, if 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 they're really about it. You know? Um, I'm happy about like what I'm gonna be on the team. I mean, um, it's 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 legendary, man. Mm-hmm. And obviously, you hosting that show, you've got insights there. Uh, what do you think is next? Um, that's the biggest question. I think um, as somebody that's, that's that that's very inquisitive about culture, you know, um, I think that's where my space. Well, that's where my headspace is playing at right now, you know. Or like, what's next? Um, what's going to be the next it? You know what I mean? But um, I honestly, something says to me ne, that Kwaito is coming back, bro. Something says, like, th- there's just a nerve in me that says Kwaito is coming back. You know what I mean? And I'm almost like aligning all my my my, my efforts to be in that space. Because um, I... I, I, I I see the Amma Piano sound going slower and slower and slower and slower and slower and it's getting a bit more lyrical. Obviously, like, the storytelling is, like, insane now, you know, because, like, uh, because of the rappers, because of, like, the uh, Kwaito legends. And um, a lot of Amma Piano guys you know, that used to, like, just get into studio and echo what was being said, like, Okostrate and Godi Party, you know. Now, like, they get in and they actually write, like, proper ver- uh, verses, you know. I, I was so I read things like I was surprised to see a lyricist like Reason jump on you know I'm a piano track. I was like, oh okay. See what so, I mean? Yeah, that's 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 interesting. It's gonna be cool to see. You know, obviously Casper is there as well, uh, and he did say on social media that he he actually said to the hip hop community like, yo guys, you need to come here. Yeah, it's nice here. So it's gonna be interesting to see. Um, how that's gonna play out? So you think quite though, okay? That's cool. Do, do, wait, 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 wait. And, and to justify what I'm saying, no? mm. I'm gonna. I know you guys never do this anyway, but like it is what it is. I mean, my boy, I'm gonna play you 20 seconds of a song that I'm doing with Kabel from Easy, and you oh, yeah. tell oh, me. I was gonna ask play. you a question. Okay, cool. Play it. I'll play it now, play it now, play it now. That's 20 cute. seconds. And you tell me, bro. Like, right. it's, yeah. it's, it's crazy. Let me just find it. I saw, I saw uh, you know, you, you're working with, you, you know, Booga Love. I was like, this is amazing. You've got the OG. Yeah, bro. Like, <laughs> like, it's, it's like, it's a dream come true, man. I think everyone that knows me knows that, like, I'm a big TKZ fan, you know, and um, I grew up on TKZ. Whatever they did um, was, was like, monumental. And um, not just, like, at face value, you know what I mean? I think a lot of people used to, like, listen to certain artists when they drop, you know what I mean? But um, there were certain nuances and certain stories that I knew further than, than most people, you know what I mean? And... And it's quite crazy now that like um, that I I've got a relationship with Kabe and we talk about certain things. And like, oh shit, you picked up that? Oh shit! Oh, you knew this? Oh, oh, you knew who put the keys there? And and like it's 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 really really like how how invested I was in the music. So the song is dropping next month. Um, let me hear this. I'm a 
And that's why I think like um, Kwaito is really, 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 really going to be like the next thing, you know, after my piano. Um, I, I've, 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 like it keeps me up at night. Like this question to myself keeps me up at night. And, and I'm almost convinced that like that's exactly where, where the sound is going and where South Africa is going. Like it's, 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 it's going to be like authentic South African stories told um, in our language, you know what I mean? Um, saying what we want to say and, and talking about the things that frustrate us, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, yo, I'm excited to, to hear like that song proper, man. So, so, but how did you get like Booga Love, man, such a legend, you know, to, to, to do a song with you? Um, it was quite crazy, man. I, um, I've always shied away I've always shied away from working on an album. And um, I knew that um, when I do leave YFM, like something's got to give, you know. And um, after my, I won't say stint at YFM because shit, I've been there for long. <laughs> yeah, after leaving Y, like um, that was one of the biggest things that I wanted to do. And um, I, I, I always want to approach my, my debut album like uh, how Shade approached her debut album, you know, because Shade has really got one album, you know? and and today is still classic, like oh, smooth operator, and so on and so forth, you know. So um, the kind of question that I ask myself musically is like, what would Shade do, you know? And and um, yeah, man, like I I I I really go for people that like spoke to me in my childhood, you know what I mean? That children take my piss perceptions about like a lot of things. I think um, all of us like that, that, that were big TKZ fans in this day and age pay our taxes because of what TKZ was going through with the tax men, you know what I mean? So all those things like, amount to, 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 to the things that build us, you know what I mean? And, 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 and almost like carve us to be the kind of people that we are. And Gabriel for me is like one of the best, man, you know? Yeah, and what I like about Buddha Love as well is that, you know, he was able to build a career outside of music, you know, yeah. and he's relevant today. So I think that's dope. You've been busy, bro. Like, you just dropped, uh, you know, a song with Nathan Adams, uh, who we, well, I got introduced to him through Black Coffee. And yeah. you got him, he's like a guy, I don't is he American from the UK? And you got him on an Amar Piano beat. How did that No, Nathan. <laughs> Yeah, Nathan Adams is from the UK. So crazy story about Nathan Adams is that um, I, I also knew him from the Black Coffee song, um, Afraid of the Dark. And then uh, what had happened was, um, yeah, I started listening to his music. Um, he got featured by Reference Say, Different Saints. He worked a bit with Louis Vega. He worked a bit um, Libo, Libo uh, Sean Macabre, and, and, and all like these like soulful house guys, you know what I mean? And um, I really liked his stuff, but um, obviously I wasn't sure how how our worlds were going to meet, you know. So there's a lady called Dawn um, who got me the UK radio show. Mm. And um, she kept on pestering me, man, on like, hey, God, like, um, for, 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 for you to start making an impact as, 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 as big as you want to make an impact, because I always used to tell her, like, how big I want to be in the UK and, and, and what I'm trying to do with this and whatever and whatever and whatever. She was like, um, you need to start like trying to think about um, what um, 
a global I'm a, a global sounding on a piano sound like you know what I mean because um and no shade to anybody locally everybody locally is doing like amazing stuff you know what I mean but um it's 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 almost like expected because it's it's somebody featuring somebody locally and you know they either going to sing in zulu kosa or sotho or tswana or so on and so forth you know but um i started challenging myself and and she told me that hey man i i know this a vocalist his name is nate like, okay cool um i i was in studio um I was, i was i was actually working with a guy that you interviewed a couple of weeks ago his name is zala riga Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, very, very talented guy. Um, he's from my hood. So um, I knew him a long time ago, you know what I mean? So I was like, hey, man, like, um, I, I, I like what you do, you know what I mean? I like what you do, I like your vibe. And we had a relationship. I was like, um, I think um, you can help me on some of my projects, you know? And, um, yeah, we, 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 we shared ideas, put together a song. and then we said to dawn and then don't to to nathan and then when the song came back it was titled nathan adams and then i was like what the hell and i listened to the lyrics like, yo this guy like, is nathan adams like even like the pen games like is like second to none you know what i mean so that's how we met and um we we started chatting offline you know sharing stories and and obviously i think um is also um and the rap got 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 a bit of a respect for, for what I do what I'm trying to do for the culture so um yeah man a lot of more like a, a lot more music is going to come out uh, between myself and Nathan I think um there's an EP that or probably a joint album we'll see where the progress um that might come out between the two of us that would be dope like a joint uh album or EP they'll be yeah. fresh yeah and 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 you know um you you also mentioned on instagram that you're working with uh, lily k yeah 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 so 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 what are you doing lily k same thing bro <laughs> yeah um i i i remember because um the crazy thing about the time difference is between um the the states and south africa like crazy you know what i mean like what my 7 8 hours some some people to my life So um I started chatting to Lily. I started chatting to Lily. I'm like, "Hey man, like uh we 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 did some dope stuff with with Magic, you know? And and if people like let me put Lily into context. Like if people don't know who Lily K is, like um go back to Chance the Rapper's first um uh mixtape. Um I can't remember what it was called. Um she put the chance on a lot of stuff. Uh, Vic Mensa on his uh, internet tape uh, she was there waiting with Vic you know what i mean so uh, she's just like one of the artists like the top so um i reached out to her and she called me and I was sleeping i think it was in the morning or something i came and like what's up you know like i think you like i want us to work on more music um we just found that um i was in like trying to like put my head around for a long time Okay. But yeah man um, I see you post about it I've I've been on your radio show it the call like piano something I'm like yeah yeah that's all you know what I mean mm. I'm like um, yeah man that's something that um, I think we should work towards uh, and I play my own game you know I, think, um, I respect what what you do with magic you know and 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 when you put magic from from a brand perspective because it feels a lot with like rap and, and, and like the soul space you know and putting her into clubs in the future you know, for her and I was a fan so I'm like hey man let's do it I can actually also play you a snippet of the song like, that we were yeah, working yeah. on so do you have it there yeah I got it bro. yeah yeah why why are you prepare for it um I, I, why are you preparing the song rather uh, is is uh give an hour like your 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 track is that is that your first video I don't think I don't remember seeing your video. Yeah. I, <laughs> I'm, 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 I've never wanted to shoot a music video ever in my life actually. Because um I just find it weird, man. It's almost like photo shoots, you know what I mean? I just find it weird. Like when we had YFM and we do these annual photo shoots, I, I just did not know what to do with myself. And um 
I always try to play it out in my head, or like uh, what happens when I shoot a music video, you know? And um, and then yeah, man, me and the team sat down and we're like, okay, we created this song. Um, it's a love story. I actually wrote the song, like lyrically. I wrote the lyrics oh, and then, oh. yeah, then gave them to the lady that's in the net. And um, she also contributed on the song. And then um, we called on Rigo. We also worked on like, the beat and the beat and arranged it, whatever, 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 whatever. And like, I just wanted to, to create like a, 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 an authentically South African love song. So, so the story to me was what about, let's say you've got this girl, Angela, and it happens all the time, you know? Where obviously this girl's got a flaw, or, or your lover's got a flaws, and whatever, whatever, whatever. And and your boys are like, yeah, don't date this girl. And she's she's for the streets. She's a the hoe. She's this. She's this. She's this, she's this, she's this, she's this. And also to girls, um, they've also got that girlfriend that that is I don't date this guy. He's a DJ. He's what what? He's in the industry. He's this this this. this, 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 this. Yeah. But um, you're basically echoing the sentiment of. I don't care what they say to me, but I'm in love with this person. And if this thing is gonna end, like um, have 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 a sharp turn or or, or, or end badly, I'm willing to take that risk, you know. And that was the story behind me for an hour, you know. And that's how like um, I wrote the song, like um, I was thinking about all these things, and 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 that's how the song came along. And then um, how we wanted to. to like really like create like eyeballs on the music video when it drops is that um, I faked an engagement. So when we were shooting the music video, um, I had a photographer on set, and I was like, we take pictures, and, and let me fake an engagement. And everyone thought, like, I, I was engaged. And, I mean... That was fake? I, yeah, that was fake, bro. I'm not married. <laughs> I thought you... I was like, I was proud of you. I'm like, oh, man, he's finally settling down. That's dope. <laughs> Yeah, so um, we did that, and um, luckily it got the reaction that 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 we're expecting from it. You know, um, I think everyone thought like I think from that since I I think I got the most comments that I've ever gotten ever since I've gotten on this. I think I was on like seven hundred something comments Whoa. of a post. Mm. Wow. So that was cool, and then when we dropped it, people were like, ah, you know what I mean. Like, but luckily, um, I knew the song that like was 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 that good that people wouldn't like say uh, you tricked us and then they listen to the song and it's a pop song. You know what I mean? Like, the song was really really good. And yeah, man, I guess uh, a lot of people forgave me for that. I I thought I thought you know because I was gonna ask you earlier, but then I stopped myself. I was like, hey, she, uh, you know, um, where's the wife? <laughs> <laughs> But anyway, you know, the video I noticed, you know, is it, the, did you shoot it where you host your event, like the Magic City event? Is it Magic Day Club, rather, event? Yeah, Magic Day Club, yeah. So, um, funny enough, um, we were doing something called Magic Liquid Lunch. We partnered, I partnered with Chef Nons. We partnered with uh, DJ Zintlin Boulevard and so on and so forth, you know. It was a nice boutique, chill event, you know what I mean, because of, of COVID restrictions. And then... Um, on the day of Magic Liquid Lunch, I literally was like, actually, seeing that I'm here for the weekend, I might as well shoot the video, you know? And then I called everybody, I organized a dress, I organized makeup, um, I organized a band, and um, yeah, we literally shot the, like, shot the video on that day, you know? And, 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 and luckily, it came out well, you know? Talk about a hustler, man. Because I was going to say, <laughs> you, you love this vein, you hate <laughs> no man it was it was it was it was it was it was just um i just didn't want to procrastinate you know because um time and setting things up and 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 and, and being the creative that i am i think uh, one of my biggest um one of my biggest misfortunes is that like i overthink things you know so um with 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 everything happening the way it's happening um i've just thought to myself that you know what, let me just let me just do things, you know, like, let me just put energies out in the world and whether people like them, they like them. If they don't, they don't, you know. Yeah. But we can't be sitting here with, like, a shitload of music and 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 it's not being dropped, you know. Yeah, yeah. Um, I hear you, bro. Um, so, 
can you play that song for us quick? Oh, uh, you forgot already. <laughs> so, so this is me. So this is me on an ama piano beat. Another exclusive. Please check the volume up a bit. <laughs> And again, I think um, just like an organic, um, it's like an organic collaboration, man. Like, I think I'm a serial collaborator. And also, um, the reason why I think um, I'm, 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 I'm so inquisitive about culture and where culture is going is that um, I like taking people from like um, different spaces and different walks of life and just bring them in. In like uncomfortable spaces or, or spaces that, that are rather comfortable to be, you know, and see what happens, you know, because I think that's where you find the magic. Bro. And, and, and yeah, man, I've got another one with Lily K, bro. Okay, look, we're gonna, we, 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 can we end the interview with that one? I just have a few more questions. Um, yeah. Well, so does this mean that the, the Afro scene has lost you? No, not even, bro. Like, um, I make music. I mean, I've got a song with Kainate and Jamie Bell and Smith that is sitting here that I don't know what to do with. Um, it's probably going to be like another smash hit. Like, um, I think it's bigger than magic. So, um, I think um, the world does not listen to genres, man. You know what I mean? And, 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 and the more you start traveling, the more like you start like engaging and whatever, you know? Uh, people don't listen to genres, they listen to good music, you know. The fact that um, I listen to Kwaito, I listen to hip-hop, I listen to a bit of jazz, I listen to a bit of soul, I listen to a bit of, like, um, like anything, you know what I mean? Um, that speaks to me at that point in time means that a lot of me's in this world, you know, people don't listen to Yes, they might subscribe to, to, to certain individuals and certain genres, you know, and support more than they support other people. But um, if it's both, people will gravitate towards it. You know? and, and a good example of that is Gala Chagzin's uh, Puse. Uh, yeah. Puse. With, with, yes. the, with the real, 
and Mbura, and you know, like, that song slaps. That song slaps, you know what I mean? And it's not on my piano, but like, those are my piano guys took them out of their comfort zone and like they made magic, you know what I mean? And 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 and, and I mean, reason on I'm a piano is like something else, you know what I mean? So it, 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 that's how I view the world, you know? And I think, um, yeah, the best is yet to come from, 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 from what I'm trying to do because of just that approach. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I, think, I think it's amazing, bro, like, um, you know, what you're doing. And, you know, I see the moves that you're making. So my, my, my final question was going to be around the, the eventing space now. Um, obviously, it's hard to say to plan now because we don't know if Bob Cyril is going to open the country or what. But, you know, what you're doing with uh, the Magic Day Club is, is, is quite dope. You know, I've seen the footage. I've seen the, the pictures. I'm still, I still need to attend my bed, <laughs> you know. But <laughs> it looks amazing, you know. Um, so yeah. what, what are your plans today uh, as far as uh, events are concerned? I think um, we need to plan, man. You know, like we need to plan. Rather, rather plan and, and not execute and not plan at all, you know. Um, people are getting vaccinated, you know. Um, you can see the over 35s are happy, you know. Yeah, are happy, you know. Yeah, they've yeah. got one more job to go, you know. So, uh, yeah, man, like um, I was actually talking to my team this morning and we're definitely planning a Magic Day Club. And um, we we are contemplating if we want to keep it at Cielo or find another venue, you know, because uh, what I've found is uh, the longevity of certain lifestyle events um, is, 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 is limited because they, people attach it to a venue so much that, that they don't see it living anywhere else, you know what I mean? So I think... Um, there's a planning of the event, and also um, there's, 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 there's another challenge or obstacle of finding another venue and, and, and recreating the same magic, but like changing like the concept, you know what I mean? What you have at the event and so on and so forth. But, um, I'm, 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 I'm more than capable of that, uh, that uh, whoever I'm working with, you know what I mean? And the young minds that I work with um, were able to pull it off. But Magic Day Club, um, it's still going to happen. I think it's our flagship event it's where we have fun. It's where we, we kick back. It's where we, 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 we able to express ourselves. And I think um, it's also a space where I'm able to, to share myself musically. You know what I mean? I think um, I get a lot of bookings where people like book me and I play 45 minutes, an hour. You know what I mean? If, if another guy's late, I'm lucky to play hour 15 or hour 30, you know, but um yeah, I think um, artists should get to that, you know, where like they create like flagship um, events and platforms where like um, they become like the center of attention because I think uh, we've we've all got like a story to tell and, and obviously that's what made Casper Yves who he is, you know, he created the fill up, you know, and um, AKA with his orchestra, you know, what I mean, black coffee with. Um, the thing that he also used to do at the door. Um, yeah. You know what I mean? So um, it, it's, 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 it's just all those things and just me learning from those people, you know, to say, um, yeah, man, like um, at the end, you also need to create your space, tailor make it to the T and know how you want to um, tell your story, even through lighting, even through the live elements that you've got playing and performing with you, you know what I mean? And, 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 and yeah, man, um, that's where my headspace is. Yeah, you know, um, dope, dope stuff, bro. Um, I need to attend uh, the next one. I have to be there. Uh, finally, where are the, where are the mixtapes, man? Where are the, where are the mixes? Um, I'm, 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 I'm actually currently about to sign up something with um, a, big, um, a big South African um, YouTube music and 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 and, 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 and even culture outlet. You know, I can't say who. Now. Um, 
what I got to say that um, the platform's got big numbers, um, do really, really well in the hip hop space, and, and so forth. I mean, just by saying that, you can do the math. Um, yeah, like, uh, yeah, 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 we're going to be doing some dope things. Hence why I haven't been throwing out um, a lot of content uh, from that side because um, there's something big that's, that's coming between myself and Slicker. <laughs> you know, it's crazy. Slicker was telling me just this week, it's like, no, I'm working on something. But, you know, he was, exact, he was saying the exact same thing. Ah, but I can't speak. I'm like, all right, all right, cool, cool, you know. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, so, so, so there's going to be yeah, yeah so there's going to be like something really 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 dope, and hence why like I'm just hanging on to um all the content that I've got that I've got. Okay. No man. Look, looking forward to it, bro. Um, yeah. Actually, that was my last question. So you said you're gonna play us like a, another song, you know, just before we say goodbye. Um, what should I play? <laughs> Okay, I can play you one time actually because it's out now, and it's it's literally like the anthem in the UK. Um, I'm playlisted out there in I think seven radio stations now. Yeah, yeah, seven radio stations out in the UK, and and it's literally like the summer anthem, and um, it's also getting love in South Africa, which 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 is pretty dope. I think I'm getting a first play on a national radio station tomorrow, and and that is flipping dope. Yeah. So, um, yeah, man, it is out. I dropped it on Monday. Uh, the Crook featuring Nathan Adams is called One Time. It's out on all leading um, streaming platforms. And, yeah, man, you can use it as your Insta story. You can use it as a real talk, whatever, you know, have fun with it. Because uh, I think this is a song that is going to unite like, um, everyone in the Amapiano space. And also starts to think broader, you know, and, 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 and like, crossing boundaries so if you never heard it before i don't know what you guys are doing. new single out on all uh, DSPs. Which radio station should people uh, check, uh, listen to tomorrow? I can't say. <laughs> I can't say. I can't say. Yo, I don't want to be <laughs> Look, man, thank you so much for your time. Uh, I really appreciate it, man. As, as, as always, I can tell, you know, you're a bit more chilled then you know the last time i spoke to you last time i spoke to you you had so much to say you know um i think <laughs> the past year you know you've grown so much as a person as an artist now you know you're just in your lane you're just doing your thing and it's you know it's beautiful to see man so shout out to you the crook bro i uh, appreciate the support you know what i mean i keep doing what you're doing for artists you know whether me up and coming 
and everybody else that's in this place, man. Um, really, really, really appreciate, like, I appreciate these kind of things, bro. All right. And a sharp shot. From my dog.